Welcome back to Star Rapid, the company that does serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious engineering. Today we're going to talk about small plastic injection molding machines, specifically the Baby Plast 1012. The number 10 in Baby Plast 1012 is the closing pressure. These machines are ideal for single cavity parts of up to about 38 millimeter or an inch and a half in X and Y, or say four cavities for parts up to about 10 millimeters. It has a standard four drop hot runner system that reduces material waste and a much smaller barrel that means that the material doesn't overcook or degrade. Machines of this size or smaller are generically known as micro molding machines. We can even do parts so small that thousands of them in a baggie looks like a small bag of dust. What are the key benefits of a machine like this? One, the molds are about 40% lower cost than ones that would go into a 60 tons machine. Two, all of the molds are made from NAC 80 stainless steel, which means that the tools last for hundreds of thousands of cycles. Three, very suitable for small medical technical moldings. Four, greatly reduced power consumption and cost. Five, faster setup and cycle time. Six, as a fully digital machine, we can upload thousands of part programs. Seven, the high degree of control over the pressure and the quality of the tooling means very high precision. Eight, and of course, the parts have very low cost. So let me give you a bit more detail about why micro molding machines. Normal injection molding machines are in the range of, let's say 60 up to thousands of tons. Here at Star, our machines are typically in the range of 60 to 250. So what does that mean? When we say 60 tons, that is not the weight of the part, or the weight of the machine, or the mold that goes into the machine. It is actually the maximum closing force of the platens. What is important is that for very small injection molded parts, a relatively small machine of even 60 tons force is overkill. You can obviously uh, reduce the force applied in a larger machine, but the range of control over that force gets worse the more you turn it down. For example, a 25mm or 1 inch universal spanner can theoretically tighten a tiny little M1 nut, but your lack of sensitivity with such a big spanner is going to lead to the thread being stripped. Same goes for molding machines. It's important to choose a machine with an appropriate size and sensitivity for a small molding. Also, there is a limit to how small a mold can be in a 60 tons press due to the pressures involved. If you're making a mold with many cavities, maybe 32 or 64 cavities, then it's perfectly fine having a multi-cavity mold in a larger press. But here at Star Rapid, we specialize in low quantity molding, typically no more than 100,000 units per year. So we don't usually ever produce molds with more than two or four cavities. With tiny parts, even a four cavity tool might only need a tool that is let's say 105 millimeters or around four and one eighths of an inch square, which happens to be the size of our baby plast molds. So when you're next thinking about where to get some very small parts made, please consider a baby plast. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share as usual. And definitely don't forget that we're the company that does serious engineering for serious engineers. Serious Engineering. Side effects include molding very tiny parts at very low cost, the delivery of critical projects in very short lead times, and your boss will be as excited as the Wolf of Wall Street on a particularly wolfy day. This company